I've washed my hands and gathered my supplies. My supplies will consist of four regular towels, ten face cloths, because I will also be providing uh, care for gastrostomy tubes and female perineal care, a bath blanket, and also a linen bag. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Hi. I am just fine. My name is Linda, and I'll be your CNA for this morning. And I've come to provide your bath. Will that be okay? Oh, yeah, sure. How are you, Mrs. Smith? I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. I'll be over there to take care of your needs as soon as I'm finished with Mrs. Jones. Okay. Okay, Mrs. Jones. I'm going to go ahead on and at least begin my barrier by partially lifting up my towel so I can lay my um, towels and face cloths on your table and I'm going to provide privacy and after touching dirty um, curtains I'm going to sanitize my hands Mrs. Jones, may I move your personal items out of the way? And I'll also go into your drawer to get your other personal items. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm moving this out of the way. I'm going to go ahead on and finish making my barrier. Okay, in your drawer I'm going to need some soap, deodorant, lotion, and your bag, bath basin. Okay, Ms. Jones, I'll be right back. I'm going to get some water. Okay. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'm back. Would you mind uh, testing the water, please, to make sure that um, the temperature is okay? Oh, yeah, it feels fine. Awesome. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to go ahead on and raise your bed to a comfortable working height. So I hear that they're going to have a cookout for the senior citizens today. Are you oh. going to attend? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, wonderful. I think that is so nice. And I see family members are already starting to come in. Will your family members be here? Well, my two sons are already here. My grandson is coming. Wonderful. All right, after having touched your side rails, which are considered contaminated, I'm going to go ahead on and sanitize my hands one more time. And I'm going to remove the top layer, or your blanket, from over you. I just uh, roll it down, folding it down to the foot of the bed. Now, sometimes we may have to do a total bed change. For our purposes, we're just going to uh, fold the top blanket down. Then I'm going to uh, place this bath blanket. This bath blanket is made out of cotton, Mrs. Jones. It helps to keep you warm and absorb the water. Oh, that's just nice. Yes, they're very nice. Very warm, too. Sometimes residents get very chilled during the bath. Okay, Mrs. Jones. There you go. All right, I'm going to have you hold on to this bath blanket so I can pull down your top sheet. Okay. Well, there's nothing more annoying that to have wet sheets lying on top of you. Okay. Alright, now we're going to undress you. Take this gown off of you. Alright. I'm going to undress the side that's furthest away from me. Arm, right? Yes, your right arm. There. Cover you up. And here, your left arm. Mrs. Jones, do you need to use the bedpan before we get started? No, I'm fine. Okay. Making sure we keep you covered. There you 
So, all right, Mrs. Jones, we are ready to begin. I'm going to go ahead and sanitize my hands and put some gloves on, and then we're going to place some barriers. And we use barriers to try to keep you and your bed as dry as possible. Okay. All right, we're going to begin by placing a barrier across your pillow. I'm going to lift up on your shoulder. If you can help me out, that would be great. And spread this towel across your pillow. I'm going to take another towel and lay it across your chest. Make sure we keep everything all nice and dry. All right, Mrs. Jones, let's begin by starting with your eyes. We never use soap on eyes. So with plain water, I want to begin by washing the eye furthest away from me. From the inward part of the eye to the outward part of the eye. If I have to clean it again, I'll find another spot on my towel to uh, wipe again. Now going over to the left eye, I'm going to flip my towel and again, from inward, from the inward part of the eye to the outward part of the eye. And if I have to clean again, I'm going to find another place on this towel to clean it. All right, Mrs. Jones, would you like soap on your face? Yes, I would love soap on my face. Okay. Well, we won't put too much soap. Soap is very drying. We'll have just enough to get the job done. Okay, Mrs. Jones. Let us begin by washing the side furthest away from me, starting here at the forehead, washing your forehead, your cheek, your right side of your nose, your chin, your neck, behind your neck, and then lastly, your ear. Flipping my towel, I'm going to wash the side of your face that's close to me, starting at your forehead cheek, your face, this side of your nose, chin, neck, behind your neck, and lastly, your ear. Time to rinse. Making my mitt, making a mitt is very important. We have to keep the uh, corners contained. Water will gravitate to those corners and then drip all over your residence, so we have to make our mitt. All right, I'm rinsing the side of the face that's furthest away from me. The same manner in which I washed it, flipping my towel to rinse the side of the face that's closest to me. Rinsing, rinsing, and lastly, rinsing the ear. Now I'm ready to pat dry. Mrs. Jones, make sure we get you all nice and dry. All right, now we're going to use the same barrier to uh, wash your arm. Mrs. Jones, can you lift your arm up, please? This one? Yes, thank you. I'm going to lie this towel. Oops, got to keep it covered. Lie this towel up underneath your arm. And I'm going to keep you covered as much as possible. There. Okay, it's going to be such a beautiful day for cookout. Are you coming to the cookout? Um, well, you know, maybe after I get off work, I may join you. Okay. All right, Mrs. Jones, let's begin by washing your arm. Okay, starting up here by your shoulders, I'm washing. Coming all the way down, getting your armpits. Your arm, forearm, making sure I don't go over already previously washed places. Your hands. Now I have the options, Ms. option, Mrs. Jones, of doing your nail care either with the bath or after the bath. And I think I will choose to do your nail care after the bath. Rinsing out my towel.
Okay, good. Now I'm seeing your arm that's furthest away from me. Starting up at the shoulder, getting the armpits. Arm, working my way down toward the hands, washing my hands. Really good. I mean, rinsing. We're rinsing now. Okay, now we're going to pat dry. There. Mrs. Jones, would you like some deodorant? Um, yes, I would. Okay. Okay, deodorant. And um, since there are no areas of skin breakdown on your arm, would you like me to put some uh, lotion on your arms? Sure. Okay. Okay, warm that lotion up in my hands. Boy, warm lotion on the body sure feels good. There, Mrs. Jones. I'm going to remove the excess lotion if there's any. All right, Ms. Jones, you can lift your arm up. Okay. And let's put that arm back up underneath the covers. Okay, using the same barrier, Mrs. Jones, could you please raise your arm up, and I'll place this barrier up underneath the arm that's closest to me. Okay. There. I'm trying to keep you as covered as possible. You don't want to get chilled. Jones, let's begin by washing your arm closest to me. Making my mitt. All right, let us begin. Again, starting up here by the shoulder, getting the armpits, working my way down toward the hand, making sure that I don't go back over previously washed areas. Okay. Covered as possible. Now we're going to rinse. There. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and discard this towel, this face cloth. Patting dry. Alright, let's put some deodorant on. And a little bit of lotion because that skin looks like it's intact, no signs of skin breakdown. So we're going to apply some lotion to your arms. Alright, Mrs. Jones. And make sure we don't dry out your skin, removing any excess lotion that may be there. Alright, Mrs. Jones, lift your arm up. Okay. Cover you up, keep you covered at all times. All right, I'm going to remove my gloves, sanitize my hands, and lower your bed because, Mrs. Jones, I have to go get some more water. We always, we always get fresh water after the hands, after the feet, and any time the water becomes cold, soapy, or dirty. Mrs. Jones, I'll just be right back. I'm going into your bathroom. Okay, Mrs. Jones, would you please test this water and make sure it's the proper temperature? Okay. Okay, great. Now, the water temperature should always be at 105 for the best comfort. Raising your bed again to a comfortable working height.
Okay. Sanitize my hands after touching the dirty bed controls and applying gloves. We're going to continue with our bath. All right, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to remove that barrier that is behind your head and use that to drape across your chest. Okay. Lifting up on your shoulders, I'm going to remove this barrier. Now drape it across your chest. Now I'm going to take the bath blanket and fold it down to your pubic area. Now we're ready to wash your chest and abdomen. Okay, Mrs. Jones, you know all throughout the bathing process we're going to be inspecting your skin, looking for anything that looks suspicious, any skin tears, bruises, rashes, anything out of the ordinary. All right, what I'm going to do now, Mrs. Jones, is just uh, to simply lift up a little bit on your towel so that I may begin washing your chest and abs. Now, for purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and expose you, but ideally we just want to lift up a little bit on your towel so we can wash and maintain privacy at the same time. So the areas that I'm washing are here, the chest, the side first, away from me, looking up under the breast, checking the nipple to make sure there's nothing abnormal happening to your breast, washing this side of your chest. Now I'm just working my way down until I get to the pubic area, the pubic area, the place just above the pubic bone. All right, now let me cover you. And rinsing. Okay, we're going to rinse in the same manner. Again, just gently lifting up on the towel. Just enough so that we can inspect your skin. I'm washing the chest and I'll remove the towel now so that our audience can see what I'm doing. We're cleaning around the chest, the breast, working over to the side closest to me. I'm going to keep going down the chest and ab until I've had the entire area cleaned. Cleaning right there to the pubic area. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and discard this towel because I have to do gastrostomy tube care. And we use a fresh towel to do gastrostomy tube care. Okay. Now, since I am going to another site, I'm going to go ahead and take off my gloves and sanitize my hands and apply new gloves to clean around the gastrostomy tube. Okay. Using a fresh towel, I'm going to make my mitt, and in a circular fashion, I'm going to go up underneath the phalange of the gastrostomy tube. Now, I do understand that there are many different types of gastrostomy tubes out there, so you will clean according to according to, um, you know, the specifications of your gastrostomy tube. So again, using one finger, I'm just going to lift up on the phalange of the gastrostomy tube and gently clean around with one swipe at the insertion site, the place where it enters the body. If I need to do it again, I'll just take another spot, use another finger, and again, going around in circular fashion until I clean the gastrostomy tube. I'm going to discard this washcloth, and using a fresh washcloth, I will rinse the area. There are no signs of drainage at your gastrostomy tube site, Mrs. Jones. There's no redness, no swelling. It really looks good. That's so rinsing good. in the same manner. One swipe around until it is rinsed. And then I'm going to pat dry. Now we do not want to handle this gastrostomy tube too much. We don't want to pull on it because it could easily come out of the abdomen. Okay, now we've cleaned that area. I'm going to bring that back towel back up towards your chest. Use the same barrier now to place up underneath your legs. Mrs. Jones, would you mind please lifting up your legs? This one? Yes. Okay. Place your barrier underneath your legs. And now we're going to prepare.
to wash your legs. Okay, now let's get some soap. I'm going to clean the leg that's furthest away from me. Okay, here we go. Starting up here, near the, in the groin area, we're going to begin washing your leg. Going from top to bottom, not going back over any previously cleaned areas. You don't want to wash from clean to dirty, back to clean again. Washing your feet, in between your toes, okay, keep them covered, we're going to rinse. Rinsing in the same manner. Rinsing, starting here at the groin area, rinsing, rinsing all the way down to each of our feet, rinsing in between the toes, and then we're going to pat dry. Okay, Miss Jones. I see some areas of breakdown here to your right leg. We'll have to make sure we make note of that on your skin assessment sheet and then let the nurse know. So we're going to avoid those areas for lotion. We wouldn't want to apply lotion to broken skin. Drying very well in between your toes. Okay, Ms. Jones, we'll just apply lotion to the lower half of your leg. away from your skin lesions. We're going to put lotion on your feet, making sure we put the lotion on the feet and not in between the toes, and then patting dry any excess. Okay, Ms. Jones, you can lift your leg up. Okay. And now we'll begin working on the leg closest to me. Make sure you stay nice and covered. All right, Mrs. Jones, let's begin. Can you lift up this leg, please? Okay. Now, for any other situation, we would allow our residents to do as much as they can for themselves. But for, pra for purposes of this video, instructing and teaching our students how to provide a bed bath, a total bed bath, we will be providing all of the care. Okay, let's begin washing the leg closest to me. Okay, Miss Jones, here we go. Looking up there, starting here in the groin area, where the thigh and the leg meet, or the thigh and the uh, pelvic area meet. We're going to wash your legs, moving from top to bottom, all the way down to between the feet, in between the toes. Okay, now let's rinse. Okay, now let's rinse the same manner. Rinsing in between the toes. Very well. Discarding this face cloth. Now we're going to pat dry. Okay, Ms. Jones, there's no signs of skin breakdown to this uh, left leg, so we're going to go head on and apply lotion. Patting dry in between the toes. Got to make sure we. Dry those toes really well. If not, that moisture could set up 
a really bad yeast infection, a fungal infection. Okay, Mrs. Jones, let us apply some lotion. Okay, we don't want to rub or massage the legs because there could be blood clots developing to your legs. We don't want to dislodge any blood clots. So just gently apply the lotion, making sure we don't apply lotion to the to the toes and between the toes. Dry off any excessive lotion. Okay, Miss Jones. We are done with the legs. Now, I'm going to take off my gloves and sanitize my hands. Lower your bed because we have to change your water. We always must change your water after the hands and after the feet. And anytime your water gets cold, it's too soapy or too dirty. Bed, and I'm going to sanitize my hands. I'll be back, Mrs. Jones. I'm going to get some fresh water. Okay, Mrs. Jones, would you please test this water to make sure it's not too hot? Oh, it's fine. Wonderful. All right, let's lift your bed up to a comfortable working height. Okay, Mrs. Jones, we're almost done. And after the bath, we'll get you dressed. Okay. Comfortable working height. Sanitize my hands after touching the uh, dirty bed controls. Put on some gloves. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to have you roll over and grab a hold of those positioning bars that are permanently anchored to your bed, okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. Roll over, Mrs. Jones. Okay. Here, let me make sure the pillow goes with you so we can uh, keep you comfortable at all times. Okay, Mrs. Jones, do you have those positioning bars? Yes, I do. Okay. There. Okay, let's see if we can uh, get you there. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and place a barrier. So we can protect your bed from water as I do your back. There. Now, Mrs. Jones, for the purposes of this video, you do not have briefs on. Okay, beginning here top of the back. I'm going to wash the back. We already got your neck earlier today, but if we didn't get your neck, this would be the time that we get it. Now we're going to get the, the gluteals, the, glute, the gluteus maximus, the, but, the uh, buttocks, because you don't have briefs on. If you had briefs on, we would stop right here above the brief. But without briefs, we'll get the fleshy part of your buttocks, not the anal area. Now we're ready to rinse. How are you doing, Mrs. Jones? I'm good. Rinsing in the same manner. Okay, discard my towel, patting dry. Now we're ready to apply lotion and give you your three to five minute back rub. Doesn't that sound exciting? With a little lotion. 
I'm going to start here at the base of the spine, going up the center of the back and, and with long strokes and then with circular, in a circular motion, go to the borders of the back. Again, up the spine and long, with long strokes and then in a circular fashion, we're going to get the borders of the back. How does that feel, Mrs. Jones? All right, for three to five minutes. I love this part of the back. My residents love the back rub. Oh, I love back rubs too. All right, five minutes have gone by. I'm gonna pat, all, pat dry the excess. Then I'm gonna use the same barrier, pull it down so we can begin your peri care. Roll back over, Mrs. Jones. Okay. Now, I'm providing peri care. We will use a clean, fresh towel. Are you comfortable, Ms. Jones? Oh, I'm just fine. We only want to expose what is necessary. So I'm going to just create a little opening there, only exposing what is necessary. Okay, Mrs. Jones. We're going to demonstrate for our audience first what I'm going to be cleaning. We're going to go to the inner labia first because our infection control principles say that we clean from inner to outer. So to uh, access the inner labia, I'm going to uh, spread open the inner lips of the labia, making sure that the meatus, which is the opening to the urinary tract, is visible, as well as the opening to the vagina. And then with one stroke on, on my towel, I'm going to go down the center, passing over the meatus, then with another finger on my towel, I'm going to go to the side that's furthest away from me, making sure I clean the inner lips of the labia. Finding another spot on my towel, I'm going to clean the side closest to me, the inner lips of the labia. Now, when I flip my towel, I'm ready to clean the outer lips of the labia. So I'll move my hands from here to up here to have access to the creases of the outer labia. So again, with my towel, I'm going to, get to uh, flip my towel and go down the center again. And with another spot on my towel, the side furthest away from me, getting down here in the creases of the outer labia. And then with another spot on my towel, I'll uh, wash the side that is closest to me on the outer lips of the labia in the skin creases. And then I'll rinse the same way. So let us begin. Okay, Mrs. Jones? Okay. Washing using a little bit of soap in my towel. You know, soap can be sometimes irritating to some women. So just enough soap to get the job done. Making my mitt, positioning my hands, and once I position my hands, I do not want to move them until I'm finished cleaning the lips of the vagina. All right, now I have access to the uh, opening, the meatus, the opening to the urinary tract, as well as the vaginal opening. With one spot on my towel, I'm going to go to the center, from top to bottom, one swipe down the center. Finding another spot on my towel, top to bottom, I'm going to clean the inner lips of the labia, the side furthest away from me. Then using another spot on my towel, from top to bottom, I'm going to clean the inner lips of the labia on the side closest to me. Now I'm ready to flip my towel, move my hands up, and now we're going to clean the outer lips of the labia. Again, from top to bottom, with one spot on my towel, I'm going to go down the center, finding another spot on my towel, the side furthest away from me, we're cleaning the outer lips of the labia. And now finding another spot on my towel, I'm going to clean the side that is closest to me, outer lips of the labia. I have just washed the inner labia and the outer labia. Now I'm ready to rinse. Okay, rinsing. Going back to the inner labia with a fresh towel, a fresh towel, I'm going to go down the center, passing over the meatus and the vaginal opening, 
Finding another spot on my towel, the side furthest away from me, I'm cleaning the in or rinsing the inner lips of the labia. And now using another spot on my towel, the uh, inner lips of the labia, but the side closest to me. Now I'm ready to flip my towel again, and we're going to rinse the outer labia. Moving my hands up from this position to up here, I'm spreading the lips of the outer labia. Going down the center with one spot on my towel. Finding another spot on my towel, I'm going to clean top to bottom, the side furthest away from me, the outer labia. Finding another spot on my towel, the side closest to me, top to bottom, the uh, outer labia. Discard my towel and pat dry. All right, Mrs. Jones, could you roll over, please? Sure, okay. And grab onto those positioning bars. Okay, here you go. Okay, Miss Jones, are you holding on to those positioning bars? Yes, I am. Okay, now we're going to clean your anal area. Using some soap. I've already cleaned the buttocks. Had I not cleaned the buttocks, this would be the time that I would clean the buttocks and then proceed to the anal area. The anal area is always the very last area to be cleaned. Spreading my cheeks, my buttocks, and then starting here at the perineum, that little thin bridge of skin in between the vaginal area or the, or the genitalia and the anal opening. With one swipe, I'm going to spread the cheek and clean from front to back. If I had to repeat, I would just flip my towel and again spread the cheeks washing from front to back. Now, I want to make sure I discard my towel. We should never take dirty soil uh, towels and put it back into the water. We would be contaminating the water if we did that. Now we're ready to rinse. And again, start spreading the cheeks and starting at the perineum, rinsing front to back. If we need to repeat, flip the towel, spread the cheeks, and rinse it front to back. Now we want to discard our towel and pat dry. Okay, removing our barrier now because we're finished. Now that I've removed the barrier, I'm going to take off my gloves, sanitize my hands. Okay, now it's okay roll back Mrs. Jones. Okay. Make sure you are in good alignment. Okay Mrs. Jones. I think we're ready to get you dressed. That concludes our bath.